scientists are betting on the sun to help reduce waterborne related deaths in developing nations. Solar water disinfection or sodas involves exposing plastic bottles of contaminated water to the sun for at least six hours on a clear day. Uh, scientists say the sun's UV light kills the pathogens in the water. Sarah Kimani went to Kibera, uh, an informal settlement in Kenya, where at least 250,000 people are said to use the technology already. She filed us this report. Kibera in Kenya. Every morning, this team of community mobilizers wakes up to a task of filling plastic bottles with water and then putting them out on the roof for at least six hours. Only then can they certify that the water is safe to drink. They are the advocates for sodis or solar water disinfection. It uses the rays, the rays of the sun to inactivate the pathogen within the water. In Kenya, the program started in 2004 in Kibera, one of the country's largest informal settlements. Mistrust among the locals saw a slow uptake of the program, many residents preferring to boil, add chemicals or filter their water. In many low-income areas in developing countries, access to drinking water is a luxury. The World Health Organization estimates that globally, one billion people do not have access to clean drinking water. Kibera is no exception. The way the, the water is transported to our point of views, there's a lot of contamination within the, uh, the transportation. And our water tanks are not being cleaned. SODIS is an initiative of the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Sciences and Technology. The institute estimates at least 5 million people from developing countries are now using the technology. We have 2,400 uh, 2, households. The World Health Organization indicates that countries that have adopted the use of solar water disinfection or SODIS have seen a reduction in the number of deaths as a result of waterborne diseases. Kibera in Kenya is now adapting that technology. It is not just households that are using sodis. This is Church of God Primary School in Kibera. Every day the school puts out 200 bottles on a tin roof in the school compound. For them, this technology could not have come at a better time. We find that we avoid a lot of absenteeism. There are no sicknesses in the school. And uh, by doing so, we find out that uh, even our the school performance now goes up. For a continent that enjoys several months of sunlight and yet suffers a lack of clean drinking water, sodis may be just what Africa needs to reduce the deaths of children under the age of five. Sarah Kimani, SBC News, Kenya.